there lived a young woman named Memunat. Memunat was known for her beauty, kindness, and compassionate nature. However, despite her many admirers, she remained unmarried. Little did the villagers know that Memunat's predicament was not due to a lack of suitor, but rather the interference of a spiritual husband. You see, Memuna had a spiritual husband who had been with her since birth. He was an otherworldly being, invisible to human eye. Yet his presence was felt strongly by Memunat. This spiritual husband named Adebowale had fallen madly in love with Memunat and did not wish to share her affections with any mortal man. Adeboya, Adebowale was possessive and jealous always hovering around Memunat, whispering sweet words into her ears and urging her to reject any marriage proposal that came her way. He promised her eternal companionship, protection and an undying love that no earthly man could ever provide. Initially, Memunat found solace in the comfort of Adebowale's love and attention. She had grown accustomed to his constant presence and relied on him for guidance and support. However, as the years passed, Memunat began to long for a human connection. The love of a mortal man who could share a life in the physical realm. The village elders noticed Memunat's predicament and decided to seek the help of a wise old woman known as Mama Iyanu. Mama Iyanu was renowned for her ability to communicate with spirits and had helped many in the village overcome their supernatural obstacles. With great faith, the village elders approached Mama Iyanu and explained Memunat's situation. Mama Iyanu listened intensively and agreed to help, but warned the elders that the resolution might not be an easy one. Mama Iyano performed a series of rituals and ceremonies, calling upon the spirits of the ancestors for guidance. Through a spiritual connection, she was able to communicate with Adebowale, Memunat's spiritual husband. Mama Iyano learned that Adebowale's possessiveness stemmed from his fear of losing Memunat's love and companionship. Harmed with this knowledge, Mama Iyanu devised a plan to help Memunat and Adebowale find a compromise. She called for a gathering of the villagers, including Memunat and Adebowale. Mama Iyanu explained that while Adebowale's love for Memuna was true and genuine, it was important to honor Memuna's desire as well. With tears streaming down her face, Memuna pleaded with Adebowale to understand her longing for a mortal love, to trust that she would never forget him or their spiritual connection. Adebowale, realizing the depth of Memuna's sorrow, reluctantly agreed to step aside and allow her to pursue a woman relationship. As the village rejoiced, 
Mama Iyanu perform a final ritual to ensure Adebowale's presence would always be felt about in a less intrusive manner. From that day forward, Memunat's spiritual husband became a guiding spirit, guiding her from the shadows, protecting her without impending on her freedom to love. With a newfound freedom, Memunat's beauty and kind heart attracted a young and noble warrior named Olatunde. Their love blossomed and they were soon wed in a joyous ceremony witnessed by the entire village. Memunat and Olatunde's marriage was blessed with happiness and prosperity and Memunas never forgot the sacrifice made by her spiritual husband, Adebo Wale. And so, the tales of Memunat and her spiritual husband became a legend passed down through generations, reminding the villagers of the power of love, compromise, and the enduring spirit that can transcend both the mortal and supernatural realm so this is the end of my story please kindly like comment and share please don't forget to subscribe thank you god bless you